Hello and welcome to another Purveyor of Light Capture One Quick Tip. Uh, today we've got a quick and easy one actually. Uh, um, it involves, you know, when we do portrait sessions or shoots and maybe sometimes a, a uh, soft box or a gobo gets in the way of the frame and uh, we wind up with a portrait like this where a portion of it's covered by a soft box or a gobo and um, you need to clean that up and you know of course it's easy to do if we go into photoshop and everything but wouldn't it be great if we could just correct that minor defect right here in capture one and uh, so i'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that now the first thing i want you to look at okay is this is not pure white okay and that's the the biggest problem is it's not pure white if you look at her blouse you can see it's whiter than the background is and uh it's a very common thing okay it's not, not anything bad because if you made the the background an absolute uh 255 value which is pure white uh it would be actually overexposed and put too much light into the camera so so this is not pure white and we need to uh, do some uh, color correction to get that to fill in. Um, so what we need to do actually is get the the value of what this is. Now, if you notice these numbers across the top in the, in Capture One, wherever I move the cursor, these numbers change. That's giving me the red, green, blue, uh, and luminance values of wherever the cursor is at, and I can use that information to actually make this left-hand corner match the rest of the background. So if I come in and I look at this and I go, okay, right where I'm at right now is approximately 216, 215, right? Okay, so I'm going to take that information and I'm going to use this on a curve lever. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new uh, blank empty adjustment layer. And there it is. And now I'm going to go to the curve area and I want to know, I want to target that exact value with this, we'll call it a gray background. It's not really gray, but I need to do it. So I'm going to use the, uh, the picker here and I'm going to select it and then I'm going to pick an area and you're going to see that on the curve we have a point. Now, that point represents the color values of the background. All right. So now what we can do is use this input by adjusting a curve so that the input and the output match exactly what the background currently is. So we take the points and we just drag the endpoints and we take that down until it's parallel. We take the lower point we raise it up okay until it's parallel and don't feel bad if you don't get it exact as the first time out you can always come in and make adjustments okay so now that I have my curve adjustment all I need to do is take a brush and on the adjustment layer is just paint and it's going to be a perfect match and I have corrected it and there we are simple as that and we didn't have to go round trip into to Photoshop to actually do the correction so there you go so hopefully you found this tip useful and uh, until next week you guys take care